Hi traders, Mandy here from High Performance Trading. So today I work with a trader who, as you can see, went a little bit on tilt and he really wanted to find out what was going on so that he doesn't need to repeat that behavior again. And um, it was actually quite interesting because you can see this is a um, five minute DEX chart. It is from the 14th of November. And you can see that he nailed the entry really well. So um, price came out of a um, da little downturning channel, crossed his middle Bollinger, which is his entry, and then he went long, nailed the nailed the bottom almost, and then uh, let the price run because you can see that low was never being taken out, and then price just kept it going a little sideways, and then higher open, higher close, sideways, higher open, higher close, higher open, higher close. So there was really no reason to get out of this trade. He went out here for other reasons, um, which we can see on the left-hand side of the chart. But so he closed half of the position at a 200 euro profit. Great trade, right? So price then collapsed. And that's then when the mess started. So he started trying to get long far too early. And the interesting part is that this is actually not his trading uh, methodology at all, right? So he doesn't um, take a long when there is a big bearish candle. <laughs> so he was clearly triggered by something else. So he was clearly not trading from his core self, the place where he makes really good trading decisions, where he's calm and confident and focused. No, he was trading from um, a place of fear. So we needed to figure out what that is so that he does need to repeat that behavior again. Because which means, you know, we want to get better every day as traders. And that's really what he does. When he has a day like um, this day, he usually contacts me straight away to figure out what was going on. So he doesn't take the past with him into the future. But he goes clear into the next trading day and um, can make really good trading decisions. So what happened? He started going out, uh, going long far too early. And on top of that, what accumulated the emotion then is you can see 145 euro loss. So he made 200, he gave three quarters back. And it's a normal natural behavioral pattern. It's a behavioral bias. We know all about framing and anchoring that he now wanted to make the 145 euros back and reach the 200 euros again. Right? And so he started really going on tilt having one, two, three, four further long positions trying to make that loss back and also catching that falling knife. And so he actually digged himself a little bit of a hole here. So he gave much more than the 200 euros back, which was really unnecessary. So we looked at what was going on. Why did he try to go long when there was clearly no long entry? And we looked at his previous days and we could see that the behavior of the market was such a little bit like here that any attempt to sell off was being bought up straight away. And he had missed a few really good trading um, opportunities where he didn't get long uh, because he didn't trust it as yet and then missed the trade and you know could have made a few thousand euros profit. That was playing out today. He unconsciously was afraid that this is going to happen again. And that's Murphy's law, right? So we are afraid that's going to happen again, the behavior from the previous days, and then the opposite happens. That's just trader Murphy's law. Um, that's how we have to be better than that, um, trading from our fears. So he he went long out of fear to miss that next leg up. So that was really interesting. And the second part, um, he started going on tilt because he tried to make that loss back. Really interesting. So you can see he started going long with two more positions. Again, not his entry, his perfect entry or his, the entry that is according to his trading methodology is at the close of this candle because the candle took out more than half of the previous bearish candle. Um, it came, price actually came back into that base. So that's another reason for him to go long. And price came back into um, above the middle Bollinger. So there was three reasons for him why he would go along at the close of this candle, um, stop loss underneath. But you know, he was lucky the market saved um, him and he made $600 out of those trades. Well, he could have made more, <laughs> the power of hindsight. He could exited this trade up here 
great exit, right? As you can see, price then pushed into the middle Bollinger and we tested it, we checked, it's actually a 50% Fibonacci retracement before price took off again. So his second next best entry would have been on close of the screen candle and then riding it all the way up. You can see price was 15,400 up here and it actually went all the way to 15,600 just in a straight line up. So he could have you know, had, have a multi thousand dollar trade a uh, day, but um, he was so nervous from having messed up and going on tilt that he just wanted to be back in profit. He finished the day with 500 euros, which is great, right? It's a really good day. But again, compared to um, his performance, it was a really subpar performance and um, he still made money. So you see, we can make mistakes. We can still make profits and be able to pay our bills. So in a nutshell, what happened was that the past was determining today's trading, so the 14th uh, trading decisions. In the past, he had experienced that he missed out on really good long trades. And then here he was afraid that this will happen again at the time when the market had changed a little bit. I mean, that's a beautiful Wyckoff, right? I mean, would have been loving this. But um, yeah, so now he has clarity and he wrote into his journal that um, so he's going to write into his journal for the next time, anytime he's going to miss any trades. So he knows for the next day, he has to be very cautious that uh, that will impact him, that will trigger him and will maybe cause him making subpar trading decisions. And so he can be um, trading with a well-being approach where he's really making sure that he's balanced and focused and not the old um, trading behavior kicking in, but knowing what his emotional and mental um, dangers are so he can manage them straight away. So I hope you find this useful and um, yeah, happy trading.